you're looking at the top of the hill is a helipad in Rangbul, Darjeeling where a massive musical festival is happening right now currently. So finally one of my favorite band is here in my backyard all the way from Kathmandu to perform. Uh, well I've grown up listening to their songs. It's not possible that I'm gonna miss this opportunity to see them live. So Adrian Padan and the band is coming live today in Rangul Helipad Festival and that is where I'm going today. So let's go. I mostly prefer traveling to the hills uh, because it's, it's really fun while you're riding uphill and going through the twisty roads. Uh, if you take the first road towards Darjeeling, you'll go through Mirik and Mirik is a very fine place. I, it's almost covered in the blanket of uh, tea gardens which are really really mesmerizing and beautiful. That's the honest thing that I have experienced every time that I traveled through that place. So for this time around, I'm taking the second route from Karshong. From Karshong, I'll be going towards uh, the helipad. Rangbul festival. It's been almost an hour uh, that I've been riding the spike uphill and it's really tiring when you especially when you're riding uphill. So I thought to take a small break uh, in between. And after a very refreshing snack time, I started my bike and started heading towards Rangul again. Uh, on the left side I saw there is a boat which was showing that Kaseong is another one kilometers away. So I really had to you know, rev my bike to start launching myself towards Rangul because I'm burning daylight really really fast now. Now I have finally reached Karshong market as you can see there's a lot of hotels and you would see that sometimes when you would uh, you know go through these roads uh, you will find there are some part of the roads which are narrower than normal because on the right side if you could see there's a train track for uh, the steam engine railways that runs parallel to the roads. Sometimes it causes congestion because uh, at certain places there are some choke points because there's not much you know uh, real estate or area left uh, which could accommodate both the train tracks and the road at the same time sometimes they do overlap as well as you can see on this place uh, it overlapped and uh, and we're crossing the Kashong uh, train station and uh, going through the mid of Kashong town as you can see, it's a hustling and bustling uh, place. There is there is lots of shops uh, and uh, yeah, things to buy. And quickly I realized that I got very late and uh, it was getting dark. And man, it was really, really cold. Uh, just one of the downsides of riding a motorcycle during winter time, you know. So everything, fog lamp, hazard and winter gloves were all on to fight the cold winds. As you can see in the video, I reached my destination pretty late in the evening. So I have to pay a parking ticket for 10 rupees. Since afternoon people from near and far had started coming down to the festival ground and things really started kicking in after dark. The venue was getting more and more packed with people as you can see and uh, everyone was having fun, eating local foods and enjoying live music. Everyone is enjoying and having a very good time. Now let me roll the footage from the concert because I could not talk anything and it was really crowded so here we go. 
Here I'm on the road again uh, and honestly it is the road is empty I was hoping that I would get like a one or two vehicles and I'll follow with them and it's gonna be you know while I'm uh, returning but I did not see a single soul and while coming down I did find a spot through which you could see the entire Siliguri city and uh, I thought to stop by and take a video so enjoy And I finally reached the Darjeeling Moor and uh, probably I'm going to stop the video now. See you guys. <laughs> 